Hello. Uh, what's going on, guys? What's up? Um, yeah, just uh, gonna try to play some of this because it's been a week. <laughs> Just got back from Hawaii last night, and yeah, um, haven't played this, and I have gotten a lot farther than I have been in the past, but I honestly don't completely remember where I was or what I was doing. So we're just gonna kind of wing it and hang out and see what uh, see what goes on. Um, so yeah. That's uh, that's what's up. I'm going to real quick just do some other thing. Let me let me uh, put this in for you guys. Do a little pin. If you guys have any questions about whatever, you can go ahead and ask. I don't think that we're just playing games here. Um, let me see. I also wanted to do this real quick. Cool. Yeah. Any questions at all? Go ahead and ask. I don't mind. I'm not really uh, playing hard today. Just kind of uh, hanging out, getting getting back into the the feel of the game. Um, hold on, though. I'm trying to uh, trying to post something here. Upgraded. Damn, bro. Nice. Alright. Um, I just want to post on uh, Instagram that I'm doing this. Let anybody know that wants to come in, they can come in. Hawaii was good. It was hot. <laughs> it was very hot. Um, it was kind of exhausting having to... Uh, I don't know, because when you're there, when you're somewhere that you're not going to go back to for probably a long time, it's like you feel obligated to go out whipping me. and, like, do stuff. In front of the other. So, in a sense, it was kind of exhausting. Um, but it was still a lot of fun. It was great being uh, in some completely different weather. So, anyways, like I said, I don't, uh, I don't remember exactly where we're at in this. It's been over a week since I've played, so, um, 
apparently I need to go this way. Let's see, what, I, what am I doing? Is there... Um... Journey's to Meridian. Okay, so we are looking for this guy. And apparently he is that way. And these guys are okay. But I really don't remember all the controls. I feel like I was pretty good at this <laughs> when I was... Like, I know I just beat, like, some kind of, like, big machine. When do you start your next cycle? Bro, we've been on cycle. What are you talking about? We've been... It, we are... We are on the cut cycle. It's been going for three weeks now. We are 21 weeks out. Do I still follow, follow the vertical diet? No. I have a... I have a coach... Jordan Peters is my coach. He is not Stan Efferdine. Stan Efferdine is the guy that uh, does the vertical diet. He is not my coach. Uh, Jordan has his own set diet plan uh, that he sets up for me each week, which he did actually. I checked in with him on Thursday, and he did change my rest day calories. He dropped them just a little bit, dropped some fats, dropped some carbs. Um... So, yeah. All right, what do we got going on here? Probably use one of these guys to uh, travel. Yeah, no, I... I yeah, we started the cycle uh, three weeks ago. I mean, whether I went to Hawaii or not doesn't... Uh, yeah, doesn't affect anything. I... Uh, I, uh, yeah, I just took everything to Hawaii and kept on going with it. Thoughts on Jordan coming off are good. I think it's smart. I mean, considering he doesn't really plan on competing much anymore, you know? Or bothering with it. I mean, he's kind of... Like, him competing, like, what's it going to do for him, you know? What good is that actually going to do? He's going to... He's not, he's not going to benefit anymore. Like, the dude's already at the top of the game, you know, in the bodybuilding industry, and he's not a pro. Like, he doesn't need to be a pro. Let's override this guy. But yeah, I mean, I think it's smart of him. Like, he doesn't really have a reason to keep doing it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it's smart. Is somebody chasing me? Get away from me. Get to safety! You know, I mean, like, Jordan has a successful supplement company. He's got he's got his membership website. Like, his membership website... I don't think you guys realize, like... They, uh... He has... He has, like, over 5,000 members. And they're all paying $10 a month. So he's making $50,000 a month from his membership website alone. Like, the guy does not, he does not need to, like, yeah, they're, they're, like, there's no benefit to him. What the hell? What is this? There's no benefit. They're gonna kill my guy. What the hell? You bitch.
have that one. Take this! Um, so yeah, like, Jordan's making a shitload of money doing... <laughs> just with his membership website alone. You know, and then he's got a supplement company on top of that. Like, what did this like I was saying, like, there's no benefit to him to continuing pushing. You know? Like, there's, there's no... there's... It's smart. There's no reason for him to keep trying. Like, he's not gonna get... Like, what more exposure does the guy really need, you know? We have won, as it should be. He's not gonna get more... Like, nobody's gonna care whether he gets a pro card or not. The guy has done incredible things in the community, so... Yeah, I, I think it's smart. I just think it's probably the smartest thing that he's done, you know? Um, next to his businesses. Has Clan impacted your performance negatively in the gym? No, not at all. What are you... What? Who are you? Stay low, girl. Or you'll spoil the fun. Fun? Everyone has their reasons. Maybe you kill because you're compelled. I understand. Had a partner who'd weep at the feel of an arrow striking home. While we hunted the bandit scum, his eyes... Yeah, I, I see it's like a badge of honor. Man hunter. For him Some to win a pro card, but even then, like, I don't think the I've found where there is the chance of There's him winning a pro card. I feel is very the slim. Of the innocent, you know, whoever they uh, can catch. It just, I mean, each <laughs> other. But why? Like, he's got a better chance than I do, but still, together. like, if there's no. What do you say? It's not. It's not gonna be. Uh... What is going on here? All right. Someone has yeah, to stop I, I, them from hurting others. Hey, yeah, and we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Like How much volume Six are you wild. doing? Go ahead and take the lead. I, I, mean, I look forward to seeing what you're capable typically of. Typically I do, like, two working sets per exercise and about four exercises per muscle group. And each muscle group one time per week. So... Yeah, uh, anywhere between six to ten working sets per muscle, so not not a whole lot of volume. What's going on here? Ah. So low. Uh, why? <laughs> why would I want to make it higher if I'm making progress? Doing whoa, what is that? If I'm making progress doing what I'm doing, why would I change it? You know? Doesn't volume drive hypertrophy? Not necessarily. Like going by that reasoning. It would just be more is better. So like, why not do, why not do 20 sets per muscle group per week? Why not do 30 sets? Why not do 50 sets? If volume drives hypertrophy, why aren't we all doing everything every day? You know. What the hell am I supposed to do with this thing? Oh shit. No, if you, if, I mean, you don't, you don't, if you stall, it's probably because your diet is uh, not proper, um, or you're not resting enough. Like, usually it's not because you're not doing enough. That, that is highly unlikely. Um, 
yeah, no, if you stall, you eat more food and you increase the weight that you're using. Like, you're constantly progressively overloading and you're constantly, you know, changing your food to... I mean, the other thing is, is right now we're on a cut anyway, so increasing volume is just not wise, <laughs> you know, in that sense, because we're in a deficit. Did you build your PC in lockdown? Uh, yeah, my PC, I actually finished building a couple months ago. Um, and getting a GPU, I mean, I have two 3090s. It really wasn't that hard to get them. Um, you just have to know when Best Buy is going to drop products on their website and then, uh, yeah, and then go to their website and buy it, you know. Um, so yeah, it really wasn't that hard to get GPUs. I have a, my CPU is, is a, a Ryzen 5950. That was a little more difficult to get my hands on, but um, yeah, I, uh, again though, like it, it, wasn't, it wasn't really that hard. Oh, you're in the UK? Uh, I don't know how the hell that would work for you guys. Do you see yourself doing the same... Do you see yourself doing the same, or have you any specific time frame? I mean, my idea is kind of the same, you know, with regards to, like, what I'm... With what I'm doing. I mean, for me, though, like, I've never done a show. I think it'll get me some more exposure to, you know, go through a full prep and, uh, you know, document that on my, um, on, on my channel. So I, I feel that that is going to help my channel grow. So it is beneficial for me to kind of keep pursuing that up to a certain point, you know, um, but there will be a point where there's really no more benefit to me to, you know, trying to compete or or be as big as I am, you know, the, it'll be the, the risk reward is not going to be worth it and uh, we'll switch gears and basically my audience will, you know, I, I don't think it'll change much, but I'll be basically leading more of an older group of guys, you know, people in their 40s and up. A little dizzy from the pain. We want to do That's more of like a TRT type of, of thing, you know. What's up, Corbin? I was watching an older trend video of yours where you were talking about doing 75 a week and showing how much blood work, but I couldn't find any follow up video to that. That's because I didn't do it. <laughs> That's because it never happened. I, uh. It never happened. Um, after I made that video, I decided to sign up with Jordan, and that's when, uh... Yeah, I signed up with Jordan, and, you know, been doing his... his programs ever since, so... Yeah, there really wasn't an opportunity to do it, and... Honestly, I really don't see the point of trying to do it, like, I don't see the need to do it. So... Do you auto-regulate if you feel shitty on a workout day, or do you just follow the plan? Well, like, I'll, uh... If I go into a workout, like... So, my working sets, you know, like, I, I said I only do about two working sets per muscle group. Like, I'll still... I mean, though, the, the warm-up sets that I do are basically gauging on what's the, uh, what's, what's, the, um, what's the rep range for the working sets that I do. If I feel shitty on a workout day, then, um, I'll probably end up choosing a lighter weight and going to a higher rep range to failure for my working sets. Like, feeling shitty, I feel, to me, is like if my joints feel beat up, like if my elbows, my knees... You know, if I feel like something weird going on in my shoulders, my pec, whatever, you know, if I feel like something is at risk for injury, then I'll choose a lighter weight and fail at a higher rep range, you know, something like 15 to 25 reps, as opposed to failing in a rep range of, you know, 8 to 12 reps. What's the lowest effective trend dose in your opinion? 
I haven't tried it yet and was going to start with about 150 to see how my body responds. Just nervous about the cough. The cough isn't that bad. And it's not even guaranteed that it'll happen that often. Um, but I, I would say 150 is probably right about the minimum effective dose. A lot of people would say 150 to 200 is the maximum effective dose, honestly. Um, check your email from your website. I'm looking for a trainer. David, I do not train people. I'm not an online coach. Um, I have a membership that you can sign up for, and I'll answer questions, but I do not... I'm not accepting any new clients. I'm not... Uh, I'm not doing that whole thing anymore. Not for the time being, anyway. If you ever enter ruts, losing motivation, or are you non-stop grinding? You really just respect the hustle. I mean, I don't... I don't lose motivation. I don't really feel like I need motivation to... What was that? I don't really feel like I need motivation to do this. You know, this is my this is my life and this is what I like to do, you know. Um, one of the very few things that Greg Doucette has said that I agreed with <laughs> was, uh, was talking about motivation. And one thing that he said was like, do you have to get motivated to eat pizza? The answer is no, you just love pizza, so you're gonna easily be able to eat pizza <laughs> whenever you want, you know. Um, so yeah, like I, I don't, I don't need motivation to calm, calm. go lift. I don't need motivation to, you know, stick to my meal plan. It's just, it's what I like to do. So uh, yeah, it, it's just, it, it's. I enjoy being on a plan. I enjoy the structure. I enjoy, you know having the routine of things, so, yeah, I, I really, I don't, I don't need motivation to do what I do. So, you make up for the weight by adding volume if you can't perform at your given reps and weight. I mean, yeah, you, you could call it volume, but it's not necessarily volume, it's just more reps. Like, it's not it's not more sets, you know? If you still, like, if you add up the, if you multiply the weight used times the reps performed times the sets done, it really, it, the, the, the output doesn't really change much, you know? Because, like, let's say, you know, you do a bench press of 400 pounds for eight reps. Um, if I feel shitty on a day where I'm supposed to do that and I drop weight and go to, say, 200 pounds and I get 16 to 20 reps... Oh, what is this? <laughs> Shit. What the hell is going on? Um, you know, that's still... What? 400 times eight reps is, is 3,200 pounds lifted. If you drop it to 200 pounds and you do 16 reps, that's still 32, right? Is that, is that right? Am I doing my math right? That's still the same amount of weight lifted, you know. So. Edgar has entered the chat. <laughs> yes, hello. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work keeping the city safe. All right. What do we got here? What's that? Is my fate to only experience adventure in the cliff books? I remember playing three hours straight when I was 15. Hmm. Probably not doing that today. What's the problem? Betrayal. By my own blood! I was meant to go on a machine hunting expedition to the Banuke Wilds. 
with real hunters. Then the rumors began. New machines and evil miasma, many dead Banuk, and so on and so forth. So my father won't allow so me to Nathan. go. He says there's too much danger for a noble scion. Do you always do what your father tells you? Awesome. Uh, yes. Nice. Of course. I haven't done that in a long time. Uh. uh. Alright, goodbye. I guess I'll have to look into these rumors myself. It's through a treacherous yeah, pass in the easy. northeastern mountains. You can't mean to go alone to that sun-forsaken place. I suppose outlanders can do whatever they please. By the sun. If only I wasn't born noble. Yeah. Sounds tough. You sound like a pussy. Alright. What are we looking for? Matt Foreman. Um, I have tried it. I have tried it. What are your thoughts on Hooperzine? It's really helping with suppression of somatostatin. Is it really helping with suppression of somatostatin or just a myth? Um, I did not know that Hooperzine A was effective at that. Um, I know Hooperzine is in, or it it was, it was in Big Noises, in Redcon 1's Big Noise um, supplement, but I thought it was used mostly as a, uh, I thought it was used mostly as a, a focus product um, so yeah I, I've never read that I've never heard about that but that's interesting metformin reduces IGF-1 um, yeah and that's if you are a natural and if you are not using growth hormone and insulin and everything else so, if you're on stuff, metformin isn't necessarily going to reduce IGF-1 to a significant amount that it even matters at all, you know. I would say most of my career getting to where I am, my IGF-1 has only been in the range of like 100 to 200 for the most part, which is very average. So, IGF-1 is not the end-all be-all when it comes to growth. When do you think Ian and James making the switch to... When do you think Ian and James... When will they make the switch? I don't know. I don't know if... Uh, I mean, like, he got Ben, but Ben probably wasn't making very much from that startup supplement company he joined. But Ben also wasn't really getting anything from Redcon either, you know. So, um, I'm sorry for the wait, like but all goods entering the city are subject to search. That's probably the main this reason why Ben went with them. We're loyal citizens. I How long do we have to wait? Bet, what am I supposed to do? Just I sit bet here Ian and, let everything spoil? and, uh, and James are getting paid very, very well. So, I, I don't know it, if, if, if. And so Zander, Fuad has the, the uh, I talk to the night has the cash to spend on him, but Aaron I, I me to his doubt it. I like, he had enough money to spend on Ben, so which makes sense, because Ben, band. like I said, I think I'm making more at Redcon than what Ben was making at Redcon. So, um, because Ben wasn't selling hardly anything. Like, I'm higher up on the list um, in sales than this Ben ever was, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't think Ben was really making anything from Redcon, so I can't imagine the the pay increase was much um, from him going from Redcon to whatever that new company was. So, 
It's always the merchants who suffer. I read that metformin improves insulin sensitivity. That's the City's whole point down, of it. On account of the murder. If this keeps up, I'll Would I be off. good to use Milano tan that I got a year ago? I've heard Derek say that it lasts a long time. Um, it lasts a long time. Anything lasts a long time that is in its powder form. So it's not until you reconstitute it that you need to use it within, you know, a month. Um, so yeah, it, it's, uh, it, as long as you haven't, you know, reconstituted it, it, it should be fine. Ian is a beast, he's very transparent as well. He made a joke to Ian about when you're making the switch. What are your thoughts on Brandon Hardy? Do you think he will become a pro? <laughs> um, my thoughts on, I think Brandon has a very good physique. Um, I think Brandon could do, I think Brandon could, I think Brandon is not tapping into his potential. I think he, Brandon does like the bare minimum. Like, I feel that Brandon's more interested in, in YouTube and Instagram and being an Instagram YouTube bodybuilder and not necessarily, um... I don't know. I, I think his physique came to him very easily. Um, it seems like he doesn't really have to try much to be what he is, and he has a, a, a very good physique, you know. Based on the videos that I've seen, I that that's my impression of him, you know. Could be totally wrong, but based on the videos that I've watched of him, which I don't really watch very many of them, based on those videos, I would say... I feel that he, uh, I feel that he, he could do, he could be a whole lot better, um, because I feel like he just fucks around with his diet a lot and doesn't, you know, stick, stick to a plan for very long and jumps around with coaches. I feel like he's looked the same for a very long time, you know, so. Closer Outlander. Do I think he'll become a pro? Yeah, I think he'll, I think he'll definitely become a pro. Um, I think he can do it in classic physique. Um, I don't think he'll really get, I don't know, it just depends on, it depends on his work ethic and how things go, you know, once he becomes a pro, but I think he could be very good. Yeah, it's been reconstituted, yeah, then it's trash, I would throw it away. Do you think Mike O'Hearn and Calvin Von Moger run trend every year? I mean, probably. I do take every day 30 milligram Sustin on 40 milligrams Primo. Almost 10 year, my blood results are perfect, no issue. I added 10 milligrams of Nolvidex every day. It made me harder and relaxed person by strength. My strength is 20% lower now. Why? I don't know. Why would? Why did you add in Nolvidex? Like if everything was fine, why would you add in Nolvidex? Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. This guy's, Aloy. This guy's voice hey, doesn't alive. match his body. I thought you were dead. Make way, make way. This guy All the way like to Meridian douche. just to see me? No. Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? Uh... I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to uh, me? I couldn't eat. Special to everyone. Food, so I started she always knew what to do. Bossed everyone around. And bam, succeeding on my bulk. 
Nah, I mean... Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. You do what you gotta do. How many cows are you Instead, here I am. Stumbling um, around. My training day plan is 4,500 calories. My, uh... Give yourself some time. You'll my rest day is about 4,000 calories. Rate I've been drinking. And what would your sister have said about that? I know, you're right. I should expect more of myself. She always did. A lot has happened since we last spoke. The proving was attacked I've by been a group of killers. Watching all your videos, I'm surprised you Not don't have more subscribers. We were in the village higher. when we Thank heard you. explosions. Have you ever used DHB? No, I have not. Some I used came back, EQ. Said most of the currently. contestants were dead. Um, I've never heard such a wail of grief. But yeah, no, I've never used DHB. People. DHB is dihydrobaldenone. How, survive? how um, I survived is less important is than how I was targeted. Abundant boldenone. Uh, what do you mean? And, and the killers came for me. Bold and you. <laughs> and the client. That doesn't make sense. Like um, I should really pay attention to my game. <laughs> uh, but no, I've never used DHB. And everybody that I've heard use DHB says that it's. Th they stop using DHB and they go back to EQ. So. I have no desire to try DHB because. Uh, EQ is just fine. So, I've read that Hooperzine A is acting like an anti choline sterase inhibitor. Like. Huh. Suppresses somatostatin better than any. That's very interesting. I did, I did not know that about that. And I don't even think Redcon knew that about that. I mean, the reason Redcon put it in was as a focus. Uh, product for big noise back in the day, but they changed the. I know they changed the uh, ingredient profile to big noise, so I don't know if Huperzine is even in there anymore. But it's very interesting. Um, that would be a good reason to use Huperzine, I would say, uh, because somatostatin is something that we need suppressed as much as possible, especially for people that aren't using insulin with their growth hormone. Or if you're doing growth hormone uh, daily. How long was the total flight to Hawaii? Uh, it was like four hours. Um, I can't hear you. Quit talking. <laughs> it was like four hours to uh, LA, four hours to Hawaii. No, I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. But it's decent work keeping the city safe. Having low somatostatin is optimal so for GH. Yes, because somatostatin even think. basically lowers IGF-1. Just drink. In a nutshell. Um, I'm in my 40s. Not hip YouTube is social media. Can member anyone? ask you questions Apparently they're letting without everyone in the live stream seeing them? How does someone become one? To sign up for my membership, um, if you check, if you click the description box below this video, it's the first, it's the first link you'll see. You click on that, you sign up for the unlimited email membership, and then you email me, chaseirons at gmail.com. Vengeance for Ursa. How long will Avad hide 
in his palace. Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Hey, come back. Would you recommend avoiding bench pressing if joints are a problem? I have long arms. Should it decrease the load or use a Smith machine? I mean, you should. Like, there's nothing wrong with bench pressing as long as you bench press with proper form. You know. The thing is, is that typically the stronger people get, the more weight they end up using, the worse their form ends up getting. And that's when injuries happen, so. As long as you have good form with bench press, there's nothing wrong with doing bench pressing. Um, until you get strong, and then there's just a higher risk the, heavy, the heavier weight you use. You know, the most that I've done bench pressing was uh, 405 for 4, and I didn't really feel that there was much of a need to be any stronger than that, so I stopped kind of messing with bench pressing and switched to incline, be incline pressing focusing more on hammer strength pressing and uh, uh, Smith machine pressing, so. What would cause a slight pop in the elbow at the top of a dip? I don't know, my elbows pop. As long as it's not painful, I don't see a problem with it. Um, is it? diet right now is rice, whey protein, and milk. Crumping not super healthy. That's, uh, I would not do that. <laughs> um, but then if you want to grow overall, don't you want high IGF-1? Like I said, most of my progress has been made on an IGF-1 of between 100 and 200. You know, IGF-1 is not the end-all be-all to okay, growth. Okay, how are we gonna get in? Here we are, trying not to break anything, other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. What's the proper deck at a master on ratio? To avoid estrogen issues from prolactin or progesterone. Also consider that using are on a TRT base. <laughs> Your whole question is is fucked. <laughs> um, you should not use more than your testosterone dose. You should use only as much as you can personally handle um, to not cause any side effects if you use I too much this could find something I've missed if you use too much and you experience side effects uh, I mean then you need to back off your dose that's it's, it's as simple as that you know you can't just you can't just be like you know what's the proper ratio it's gonna be completely different for everybody. your bench and squat max um, the most that I benched is 405 for 4 the most that I've squatted 
was 405 for 10. And honestly, I don't really see the point in using any more weight than 400 pounds. You know, just add more reps at that point. When you start dealing with more weight than that, I think the risk of injury is just not worth it. played sports yes I did football in high school and wrestling unknown updated oh, that's good what the hell was this Music do you listen to at the gym? What is this? What's the point of this? Um, usually like Eminem, Metallica, um, that kind of stuff. All right, I guess that's nothing I need to mess with. This rug is frayed, and the floor near it is warm. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. <laughs> um, Sergio. <laughs> if you're asking that question... <laughs> Uh, you, uh, you probably, you probably shouldn't, uh, you probably shouldn't use any of this. <laughs> yes, that is correct. That is... <laughs> I don't think you're getting through that hatch. What age did you first start using PEDS? I'm 34 now. I started when I was 23. I'll look around. That's what we came for. Oh, do I need to push that box off? Maybe I can break it. I know the answer. Like, why did you ask that? Somebody that asked that question, like, that's, uh... That's concerning, dude. <laughs> I would... That, that ain't right. Why are you listening to dumbasses on Instagram? That's just stupid. It's better than saying I'm taking... Yeah, that's true, Mike. Ah, uh, what's up? So, yes, I'm back home. Back home. Definitely had fun. Alright, so Looks we need to push this. Heavy. Could do a lot of let's give it a little push. Push. <laughs> you weak. There you go. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? If I jump down there, I'll probably die. The 
gyms are opening up. Where do you live? My gyms have been open up all year. <laughs> Aren't you going to see what's down there? All right, back to... Really? They're closed in California? Do you know if Amino Asylum's Nolodex is legit? Um... Yeah. I would assume so. Like, I don't... But... I mean... You know, you can use what you want. I, I wouldn't use it. Any... Any products that are like ancillaries... You know, that's like an AI or, uh, or, uh, or like Kaber, things like that. I 100% would not buy a research chemical. I would get it, I would get pharmaceutical grade. Serve and they live. Disobey and I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Mm. Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. <clears throat> you should get that super tech armor. Yeah, I gotta have the money to be able to buy it. All right, where am I going now? The map. The glyphs show places he visited. You think there'll be riots again over Shaman? Apparently I haven't heard about what happened. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No his doubt clan no. anabolic for building Olin muscle or just for fat loss. I heard he's in clan on the cruise is effective. It is effective. It does have some muscle building properties. I mean, it is something very beneficial for women to use because um, it can help them, you know, without giving them negative side effects. So, yes. How long are you going to run your current cycle? Oh, well, we've got 21 more weeks of it. I'm sure it's going to change and adjust as we go, but um, it'll be at least 24 weeks long. How did you grow your hair back? My hair has always been how it is. I've just shaved it for the last you know, four years or something, um, because I didn't feel like, <laughs> I didn't feel like having it, so no, I don't use finasteride, I never will use finasteride if my hair falls out, so be it good, then I don't have to make a decision about whether or not I want my hair to grow out or shave it off myself. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses, too. Like, looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... 
out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. Our squad's in Lake Ascension's own I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your like war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found. I mean, and wait for you there. Sure, it's going to be the best. Is all I need. No, but sure, Don't make you can make bad. progress. Red Ridge Pass, you said. It's all about a good, I'll better, best Red scenario. I think that that's a good scenario, but there are definitely better scenarios for exercise choices. What's an example of adjusting your cycle? Adding in stuff and taking stuff out? Yes, that would be an example of adjusting the cycle. Adding stuff in and taking stuff out. I'm doing a total of 100 weekly volume sets and I get so tired after my workouts. That sounds stupid. Edgar, what do you weigh? Yeah, you weigh 140 pounds. Like, that's not going to get you. <laughs> that's not going to get you anywhere. You're doing cardio. <laughs> like, that 100... Well, I guess I'm reading that wrong. 100 volume sets total. I mean, even that is, you know, across all muscle groups. You know, like I said, I do 8 max per muscle group. So, I mean, chest, back, legs, well, chest, back, quads, hamstrings. Shoulders, thighs, tries, 756. I do half as much volume as you. Like, that's ridiculous, Edgar. Whoever told you to do that, you need to kick in the teeth because they have lied. It's a better carb source, sweet potatoes or white rice. Whatever digests easier for you, which would probably be white rice. Hmm. You're you think you can lander. maintain for a while no, being on a cruise after a blast? I bet no. you're a machine hunter too. You lose gains faster than the stick for a while on a cruise. Well, let me give you a word of advice. You'll slowly start to deflate. Don't bother with the hunter's lodge. If you're not card yet, with, you'll never uh, rise in the ranks. When on a cycle, like your nitrogen retention is going to be so much. Uh, more enhanced, you know, once you stop that and you go back to like a cruise dose, a TRT dose, your nitrogen tension goes down with it, and with that, you lose fluid, glycogen within the muscle, and you shrink. And it happens, I mean, like, it, it happens, you know, to myself in this last cruise. I mean, it is what it is, it's the way that it goes, but we have to cruise, otherwise, we don't give everything time to reset, so. It is what it is. You have to cruise. Um, but yeah, within six weeks, you'll notice a difference in how much you change. Yeah, I agree, Mike. 100 volume sets sounds like junk volume. It just sounds stupid. Like It sounds like a complete waste. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up. Maybe. But it isn't going to be me. If you decide to go... Be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuke farewell mark in my honor. It's the most Banuke impressive farewell mark? That you've seen What's that? In real life. Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. Um, I'd probably have to say Luke Sando. I met him at his last Olympia. Um, which was about two years ago. Uh, I was working at the Redcon 1 booth, and he was right next to me um, meeting people. He had a line set up right next to me where I was selling shirts and shit. And, uh, yeah, I got to hang out with him for a couple hours while he was shaking hands and taking pictures. Thoughts on Andrew Jacked. 
Um, he is very big. You there? Can you help me? Just a moment of your time, please. No, you got all the best goods here. Sound like a pussy. Uh, all right, where am I supposed to go? This way. I prefer the noble market myself. Machines of bandits try to get past me. I'll have a fight. Don't let your guard down. Diuretics, what's your experience? I've used lots of uh, I've used lots of diazide in the past and it's a complete uh, waste of time to bother with long term. It's just stupid. It's stupid to use them if you're not doing a show. I mean Edgar, you're hundred and you're hundred and forty pounds. You should not be considering any diuretics <laughs> or even worrying about them. Um and even now, I, at most I feel like a lot of guys are competing without diuretics. So the only situation that diuretics are should even be considered is the couple days leading up to a show. Outside of that, there's a strong chance you will get addicted to using them and think that you need them on a daily basis. When really, they're just hard on your kidneys. It's not something that you need to use. Do you think that Crowley dude will make a full recovery after that pec tear with Larry Wheels? Uh, depends on how the surgery looks after. Um, I don't know. It's too early to tell. EPO for endurance athletes. I mean, that's the standard, but they, yeah, they use it. <laughs> Cialis for lowering blood pressure. Is this okay? It doesn't really work that well for it. Yeah, sure, it does a little bit, but it's you shouldn't rely on it. You know, you can only take so much Cialis. Like, 10 milligrams a day is kind of the max dose that you'll want to take on a daily basis. So, is it okay? Yeah, but is it going to effectively... Like, if you're sitting at, like, 160 over 100 or 90 or something like that, it's not going to bring you down to under 120 over 80 it might bring you down like five points each so don't think that that's going to be something that's going to be effective you know if you have high blood pressure you should get on a blood pressure medication and quit screwing around with other stuff does hgh really reduce wrinkles no ever tried liquid Cialis? No, again, things that are pharmacy products, things that you can get at a pharmacy, I get at a pharmacy. I get pharmacy grade things like that, you know. I wouldn't bother. I, I would either go with a pharmacy grade or I'd buy the raw powder. I, I would never go with a research chemical. people out there? Yeah, there are. Edgar, you're six foot and 140 pounds? Bro, you just need to eat more food. What are you doing? All day, every day. Both of you. <laughs> Both of you. 
You need more food. You, don't, you guys don't need to be worried about drugs. You need to be worried about food. I mean, if you're 140 pounds and six foot tall, you should be able to naturally get to about 180 pounds lean. You got a long ways to go. You guys have a lot of questions about things that I did not even consider when I was 140 pounds, and I'm glad that I didn't. Because when I was 140 pounds, I was fucking sixth grade. I'm a researcher. Sure you are. Where's the membership for your source info? Unlimited email membership. Mike, he's on that three month plan. He's gonna be 190 in three months. You just wait. On LGD in Austrian. lead, idiot. Uh, he's coming.
What are you guys babbling about? Uh, Sergio, do you have your calories and macros calculated? SARMs are not research enough to be valued. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that why you're doing 100 sets per week, bro? You need to quit that. Um, yeah, you shouldn't be doing cardio either. Like, you're 140 pounds. What are you doing? My work is cardio. I'm a restaurant server. Where's the link to get a membership? Description box. Click the description box below this video. It's the first link. Macros are easy. One, one, one pound pro. What, Edgar? You don't even know how to talk. <laughs> uh, the rest fill fill the test with carbs. Fitbit multiply body weight by fifteen. No, that is you guys. How old are you guys? Like, 15? I get over a gram per pound. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. And no longer than four hours between meals. Yeah, I know he meant one gram. Did you guys just, like, start? Like, a week ago? Seriously though, you guys, you need to eat more. Lots more. What the fuck is that? Snap maw. The hell? Yeah, are you guys using anything? Are you guys using any gear right now? Broderick should not be your hero. <laughs> Unless you want to be a fat old troll. You guys need better heroes. <laughs> Broderick is not is not the guy to listen to. <laughs> Okay, no, you don't need a source. You need more time being a kid. Did that even do anything? Except piss him off? Walmart is your source. Yes, the grocery store is your source. You do not need... You do not need a source. You guys are not ready for a source. Not until, I mean, you're six foot tall. Not until you can get to, like, 180 pounds naturally. And, I mean, the fact, like, you're 140 pounds. Alex Keichel is not somebody else to listen to, either. Alex and Broderick... Uh, I think if you're going to listen to somebody that's like... A, like, these guys that are, you know well-researched in, in what they do. If you're going to follow one of those kinds of guys, like, mm -hmm. I would... I would say Victor Black would be somebody worth following. Um, I think that he's definitely a better option than uh, uh, Broderick or Alex. Mm -hmm. Just registered as a I'm a guest like 17. Just registered as a member and sent an email. Cool. I think I did it right. Taking the Cardi Tone four weeks now. Works as good as my Donger script. Sergio. Yes, he is good. Broderick started at 16. Yeah, but Broderick is a fool. <laughs> Most dudes who started young already had great physiques. Oh, what is... Why are there three of these? What are they doing? Alright. Let's see here.
need to keep the upper hand. You gonna come get me? What, bro? Yeah, just email me, chaseirons at gmail.com. <laughs> Mike, you're having a heyday with these guys, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, it's good that you guys are trying to learn, but, I mean, the bottom line is, like, you guys are young, 140 pounds, six foot tall. Dr oh, shit. Drugs are going to do you no good if you don't know how to eat properly. Like, if you can't... What's that? If you can't get to... If you can't get to, like... 100... Like I said, 180 pounds naturally. You know, whether that's fat or thin. Like, I don't even care. At least, you know, if you get there fat, at least you know how to eat now. But the fact that you guys are still 140 pounds, like, you don't know how to eat. To grow. If that's your goal... You know, if your goal is to is to grow, then you need to know how to eat properly, and you should learn how to do that before worrying about gear. Now, I mean, like I said, it's good that you're learning, but you guys shouldn't be touching anything for, uh, like, you guys probably have a, a couple of years of growth. Okay, 160, whoop the fucking do <laughs> Like I said, get to 180... And prove that you know how to freaking eat. Like one again, like and then one eighty is like should be easy, you know, like that's that's still like next to nothing. They know I'm here now. Oh jeez. <laughs> I can't swim. <laughs> <clears throat> Bombed. <sighs> Sergio, just just stop, bro. You don't. You don't need to send us all your Google searches right now. Like I said, it's good that you guys are researching, but you really, you've got, you both have a long time until you should even, even bother, honestly. Like, and I know that's not what you want to hear, and, you know, I can tell you guys are young, and so you're going to do what you're going to want to do, you know. Like, I get it. Nobody can tell you guys any different, because... You're teenagers, you know. You don't give a shit. Um, you know we we were all we were all teenagers before. We uh, we were all the same way. I'm just I'm just telling you, you know. In my experience, you really should not even bother. Like, sure, research all you want, but 100% you should not even consider it. You've got you've got years until you should make any remote close decision, you know? But, you know, go ahead. You can you can ask you can ask all the questions you want. I mean that's just
It's just, I, I would not, you, got, you guys got a lot of, a lot of growing to do and a lot, a lot of learning to do, you know? All more plates, more dates. He has reason to be content with me. And right. His info, Broderick, is more real. I mean, Broderick is real, but a lot of his stuff is just wrong. <laughs> like, there's a lot of good things that Broderick says, but there's a lot of really bad things that Broderick says as well. Um, and Alex, Alex is just trying to sell people to sign up for coaching with him. Like, he gives out information, Good but an he doesn't give out enough that's really going to give you the full picture until you get coaching from him. And even then, like, the dude, yeah, he is, he's actually 
got some weight to him, so, you know, he does know how to eat, that's for sure, but, I don't know, I, I've watched a lot of Alex's stuff, or listened to a lot of Alex's stuff, I listened to a lot of Broderick's stuff, I, at first, I, I thought they were very good, and then it was just the deeper I dug, and the more that I learned, and about them, and listen to things that they were saying, the more that I realized that I didn't really want to promote them That'll as help. much. Because I just didn't really... I didn't really like uh, what they had to say. A lot of what they said... Especially Broderick. Like, he just says some things that don't make sense at all. I'm a few cyclones, got less Christmas Eve because I wanted to mess with some doses and more food. Now my hair is slightly thin, acne scars. Uh, Greg, on the other hand, yells. Yeah, Greg is Greg is just out there. Because I know a lot more than people who take stuff. The thing, though, Sergio, is that I've said many times that people that use gear... I would probably say 90% of the people that use gear have absolutely no idea what you're what they're doing. Like most people that are using steroids are absolute morons, complete idiots and have no clue what they're doing. They're just fucking injecting what their buddy told them to inject and have no clue. That being said, you know, you can do all the research in the world that you want about different products but you really still don't have a clue until you actually start trying this stuff and seeing how it actually responds and reacts in your body. Because that's something that you can't read about. You can't read how it's going to work for you. Jim don't know anything. Mike, what? Mike, Will, what are you on? Just curious. Maybe you have a decent comprehension. I knew about at 20 about negative feedback regarding pituitary, blah, 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 blah. Recently started TRT 200 test. See a week intramuscular versus sub Q. What do you think? Um, personally, I do all of them intramuscular. Uh, I've done sub Q shots before with test, and I didn't like it. So, Eddie, you're currently on TRT. Recently, on Test Super Draw, they decided to stop and eat more. Appetite was dead. That's my favorite, Broderick. What was this the reason you were taking these doctors? Which ones were dissatisfied? Uh, you can loot, you can run a lot of gear. If you don't eat, you won't even gain five pounds. So true. Victor Black. Yes, I do like what Victor has to say. I haven't found something that Victor said that I thought was stupid or wrong. Yeah. Everyone who says they have a huge appetite has never tracked their... I agree with Mike on that one. Um... Underdog, yes, I am home. Yeah, he's still... Ooh. Jesus, what is that? Can I kill this thing in one shot? Oh, shit. What's he doing? Why can't I sneak attack this dude? Oh, Jesus. Who are these? Oops. Happy 
Easter. <laughs> yes, vacation was great. Uh, the average person on Facebook tells me to take training and drone test. Yep. Um, Sergio, his cows are 2,000. And he's trying to bulk 2,500 massing. 180 protein, rest and carbs, a little fat. We're not trying to get above 20%. I wouldn't try to get above 15%. I don't think they're using gear. I don't think they've said that. They gain Dust weight feels like it's under my skin. One pound per week. How long you've been doing it? Six weeks. Have installed Mike. Well, how much cows you want? That damn robot was twerking. Yeah, something. All right. Uh, where do I need to go? You go this way. What is that? Scrappers? Oh, those guys suck. Well, he doesn't. They're pretty weak, it looks like. Shooting too far. Fire. All right, let's do this. All right, the dick. That wasn't a warning. Jesus, what is going on here? Traps didn't do shit.
It's game time, bro. <laughs> well, we leveled up with that. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Most open bodybuilders eat 5,000. You know, we're near open. Fuad could barely eat 5,000. It's funny bodybuilders know more about the test. Than the TRT doctors. I'm shocked how much more I know than my own doctor. Yeah. You know, I also eat like 4,000 calories. Dudes around 180. I actually thought about this the other day. The calories don't deviate. I mean, it's true. Like, I, I eat 4,500 to 4,000 right now. I mean, that's where I'm at. Who needs Netflix? Some claims that Proviron is as good as Masteron. So Masteron versus Proviron in injectable form. I know that you are a fan of world, but Proviron... Bro, Proviron and Masteron are the same thing. Proviron is oral Masteron. So if you want to take Proviron in injectable form, take Masteron. Currently doing vegan protein for digestion. Yes, very locked in. Here we go again. Reminds me of my older brother. <laughs> I'm always... What the fuck? What's going on here? I'm always not trying to give you guys a hard time. Seriously, food. Video games are stress relief. Alright, let's take this guy. I hit that thing on bottom. Oh, he hit a trap. That's what I want. Right there. Light him up. <laughs> Miss. I'd have to leave something else behind. Hmm. Let's see. No, come on. some of these. Ah, shit.
was like, what the hell? How do I change out some shit? Ancestry? I don't know. I have not done 23 in me. Time do I wake up? Usually about seven or eight. Alcohol is only popular because of culture. If it was a normalized alcohol consumption, it would be thought of as something engaged in by mentally ill only. Imagine literally drinking poison to the point of cell death every Friday and Saturday, thinking it's normal. Agreed. Need to become a member soon once the ID from the DMV comes in. <laughs> uh, the only thing I don't like about alcohol is that if you're in your 20s, the only thing people seem to be interested in is doing working, is working and getting high on the weekends. Not much ambition. Yeah. I feel like we all go through a point where we. Uh, have fun with alcohol, but once you grow up, yeah, it's just, I don't really see the point anymore. I guess I don't really need one of these guys, do I? Where are these? Corrupted.
shit, what is that? Holy shit, what happened? Get away! Who the fuck are you? Somebody help! Look up, she's all oh, you guys, you guys are bad guys. Oh my god. What just happened? Run! Fucker. Where'd those guys go? They just disappeared. Two headshots. <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh, you 
you dropped your box. Getting the 60 frame per second buff. I don't know. That would be worth playing again. Alright, what else do we got out here? Where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to be going this way. You know, at least. talking about Canon over Sony says Sergio um, Sergio why why do you have that uh, opinion why Canon over Sony Can't be too prepared. User friendly and better quality. Better quality as in what compared to what? I mean, the quality I'm glad that's over. depends on even if I can't help those that die. The model that you get. The problem with Canon is that most of their products, they hold them. I feel like they hold them back in that, you know, they do things that are so far behind, so far behind, like what Sony's done. You know, like Sony has been putting out 4K cameras. 4K mirrorless cameras for a long time. Whereas, uh, whereas Canon, they still keep putting out cameras that some don't support 4K at all. And it's, it's just that they always leave something out that is just, like, huge. And it makes no sense. The A7S III, I agree, cannot be beat. <laughs> um... Because the A7S III, they improved the user friendliness by changing the menu, and it's got everything that a videographer would want with regards to um, videoing. <laughs> so, um, but like, what what Canon camera comes close to the A7S III? Or, I mean, if you were going to compare Canon cameras to you know average Canon cameras to average Sony cameras. You know, if you go down the mirror, the mirrorless compare mirrorless cameras between the two. Like Sony's mirrorless cameras are all way better than any of the mirrorless cameras that Canon has put out with regards to specs. You know, I mean, I do. I have a I have a 70D Canon. It was my first like big camera that I've gotten. Brew that up later. And while it was great, um, the autofocus on it is amazing. Like that's the one thing that I do feel is very good for Canon is that they do have the the dual the dual what is it called the dual something autofocus that they have it is very good that being said sony's sony's uh autofocus is still better like they've got that down to animal eyeball tracking like they're very very good um but yeah i have a 70d it is it is great um, it can't record in 4K. Um, 
you know, I, I mean, for the price of it, it's it's a quality. Like, I'm gonna sell mine. You, know, you want one? I'll sell you mine. <laughs> um, I'll sell you. I'll sell you a lens with it too. Yeah, I got the 70D because that's what um, that's what uh, Casey Neistat was filming with for the longest time. It was a 70D with the 10 to 18 millimeter. Um, 10 to, 10 to 18, I believe, millimeter uh, lens. So I have that, and yeah, it's very good for vlogging. Um, OfferUp has them for 300. Well, that's a pretty good deal. this guy? What am I even? A scrapper? over there. I thought I was keep getting off track with which way to go. I agree, I think deadlifts are overrated. This is what you intend. To bring these ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. <clears throat> it's a nightmare. Nightmares. Yes, the worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise. Uh, not one of these. Shit. So much 
much for catching him alone. These things will destroy us all! They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were taken. Ah! Stop working. Search the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Aloy. You left me no choice. <laughs> Who is this? An interested party. Now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this? Hmm. What do I need to do? Kill the corruptors. Kill everybody. Good. Okay. Okay, so... Let's see here. Is he gonna come up here? Let's, uh... Shit, it's not bad. Can I put down? It's out of range. Shit. I need to get down there. So they're just one after the next, huh? go. Yeah, they're so quick. Sandstorm scrapes the stones. happened. He ran over it and didn't knock him out. What the hell? Oh, fuck you. Get away. Don't come over. I was supposed to like knock him down. Alright. Fuck this. Let's just do it. Norco lives. Kill her! No! You had your chance. Jeez. Well, that worked. <laughs> what the hell? How do you go from one topic to another in most random times, don't you? Yeah. That's great, Edgar. Okay, so that was a bad idea. What? Let's see what's over here. I wonder if I can, like, pick off all the individual guys walking around. They're a little far away, though. Kill him. 
That was a hit. Who's doing that? Who's that guy? Get away from me. He's not coming up here, is he? Nobody else. Nope. What are you doing? I snipe too. Bitch. He's moving. Hopefully this isn't a bad question for on here, but just clarifying that you have sources, yes. Basically everything. Come over here. Jesus. How am I supposed to see that guy? Get out of here. He's gonna run right over me. Run. Where's Owen? <laughs> um, let's see. Leave me alone. Okay, where's that sniper? He's not even looking, what the hell? Get out of here, dude.
Hmm. This is, uh... Oh, what's he doing? Sticks. Shit. Stop. Oh, fuck. You sir, big rock at me. in Chicago. This is not... I did not bring my computer with me to Hawaii. Alright, I need to get out of this hole. Do something. Fuck. Pass the test. Big rock. Um, how am I supposed to kill two of these things? What the hell? What is this? Burning alive. Oh, jeez. What the hell? 
How am I supposed to beat two of these? This is ridiculous. <sighs> oh my god. You play like Master on Builds Muscle or just Cosmetic. I think that it does have a muscle building effect to it. I don't think that it really has any hardening effect. You won't notice that unless you are very lean. So don't use that thinking that it's going to help with that in any way if you aren't actually single digit body fat. Well, shit, what am I going to do? Shit. Kill her. No, you had your chance. How do you feel on Clen and how is it usually used in cycle at the start or end? Well, bro, I just started my cycle and I'm on Clen, so. And I feel fine on Clen.
I don't think this is going to be beatable right now, guys. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hmm. Is there, like, something I can blow up? Hmm.
sitting duck at this point. Where did she go? Don't mind me. Okay, so I killed one. <laughs> I'm like out of fucking ammo though. go. He's limping. No ammo. 
this gonna do? Is this guy? Oh. Hear me out. I promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. <sighs> the killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? What you want? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Uh, their devil is real. It has a name, a voice. Everything? The most terrible voice. And they do its we bidding. Need, need. All the veggies. Um, should probably get some chicken and a lot of beef. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't know if you would. When? <laughs> like three minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. How much meat is that just as much as I can? Squeeze a bowl, avocado. Meat, chicken, yogurt, probably. Yeah, yogurt. We need more olive oil. No. wearing my underwear. They're shorts. They're trying to show your butt to everybody. <clears throat> well, go ahead. I'm almost done. Go away. Get out of here. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I miss you so much. We just get out of here. <laughs> Oh, what 
are you guys asking what is a good amount of running before it can start to negatively affect results? Normally do 30 minutes treadmill walking, but want to start running outside in the beautiful weather. I mean, that really depends on your goal. You know, I mean... Honestly, really, no amount of running is 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 beneficial for building muscle. Um, I mean, if you were gonna do it, I would try to keep it as little as possible, you know, um, because having muscle is not uh, is not conducive to running, and that running kind of makes you want to. Uh, lose muscle, drop muscle, so that you can run better. <laughs> so, I... Like, if your goal... It, again, it just depends on what your main goal is. Like, if your goal is to... You know... I don't know. Just enjoy... <laughs> if you're not, like, seriously bodybuilding, then... Yeah, I mean, go out and enjoy running. Enjoy yourself, sure, but... Yeah, like, you're not going to see me doing any running at all, um, because it's just, it's not going to help in any way build muscle, you know? So, um, like, I like running. I used to run a lot. Um, you can find a lot of videos on here a while back when I was running all the time, you know? Um thing is, is I was not this big when I was running, you know, um, it's a great way at losing weight, um, but a lot of the weight that you lose does come from, uh, muscle tissue, but yeah, I mean, it's not, uh, I don't know, man, that, like, personally, for me, I would not run at all, um, if your main goal is primarily building muscle and getting as big as possible, but I can understand, you know, like a general, like fitness person wanting to like kind of build some muscle and still like enjoy life. If you enjoy running, I don't know. I probably wouldn't do more than 30 minutes. But yeah, it's just that that's that's my take on it. You know, um, running in no way helps build muscle. It's kind of the opposite. So. Treadmill walking is fine. You know, that's why we do it. That's why, like, if you can run and keep your heart rate under or around 130 beats per minute, you'll probably be okay, but most of us can't do that. Most of us, when we're actually, like, running, say, you know, something slow like a 10-minute mile, our heart rate gets to about 150, 160 beats per minute, and that's just too high um, for cardio for us. So, yeah. You do you video on what supplements to take to save your organs. Oh, your video on what to take to save your organs was great and informative. Thanks. Where's your wife? She just went grocery shopping. Uh, would love your opinion on something. I'm on TRT taking 200 test sip split on Mondays and Thursdays. Once I reach my desired level, I what? I want, do you think about, what, what do you think about of me <laughs> taking 100 split two times a week? Oh, you're taking, it, isn't that what you just said? You're taking, you said you're taking 200 split on Mondays and Tuesdays. Or you want to do 50 two times a week. I mean... Regardless of whatever you're, whatever you want to take, I'm not all about splitting up doses into two times a week. I do them seven days a week. I like to do them every single day to keep levels as stable as possible. That being said, I need to go pee. I'll be right back.
Ugh. Yeah, I, I mean... I'm not... What are you exactly saying here? I'm on TRT. Taking 200 tests split on Mondays and Thursdays. Once you reach your desired lev, your desired... <laughs> Once you reach your desired, you know, physique, is that, is that what you're saying? What do you think about of me taking 100 split to two times a week? I mean, 100 per week is a, an extremely low dose. I mean, as long as whatever, whatever your goal, your desired, I, mean, I think that's what you're saying here, your desired goal is, if that goal is uh, uh, reachable, if that goal is reachable uh, on um, naturally, you know, like, if you can do that naturally, then, um, like, it, it, like let's say, 5'10", 160 pounds, relatively lean, you know, 180 pounds, 5'10", at, like, 10 to 15% body fat. Um, if you reach that kind of range on 200, yeah, you could probably drop to 100 per week and maintain that level, that, that, Oh, that's what you're talking about. Okay, I was taking that completely the wrong way. <laughs> um, okay, so you're talking about, like, actual test level. So, no. The answer is no. Um, whatever dose of testosterone per week that you take. So, like, you're taking 200 tests per week. Uh, forget about everything that I just said before. <laughs> if, you're using, if, you're, if you're using 200 tests per week... And your uh, your total testosterone level comes back at 1,100. That's that's what you get based on a level of 200 milligrams of test per week. If you drop your dose to 100, your total testosterone levels are going to drop with that. And I would be willing to bet that if at 200 milligrams per week your total test is 1,100, at 100 milligrams per week your total test is probably going to be half that. It'll probably be about 600, 500 to 600. So, no, you cannot maintain a higher total test level on a different dose just because you've used it for a little bit, you know? Yeah, your, your total testosterone level is going to be whatever your, uh, whatever your, your dose is, you know? Started four months ago at 469. I mean, th that doesn't really tell me anything. <laughs> you know, like, uh, that doesn't tell me anything. It was 469, what, naturally? It was 469 the first week that you were using testosterone. The thing is, uh, you're at 1100. Like, it's going to stay at 1100 on 200 tests. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stay around the range of 1100 to 1200 on 200 tests. You know, it's not going to build up more. It's not going to stay in your... It's not... Yeah, you're not... It, it, it was... It, the thing is, is 1,100 on 200 tests is, is pretty standard. You know, most people can take between about 180 milligrams to 250 milligrams, and they'll be right at that range of about 1,000 to 1,200 per uh, total test. Um, so, yeah, if you... <laughs> like... Bottom line is, whatever you take on a weekly basis, that's going to be com completely, exactly correlated to what your total testosterone is going to be. If you take less tests during the week, your total testosterone is going to drop. So, I mean, that, that's all there is to it. There's not really anything else to say about it. So. All right. Um... I need to eat another meal. Let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap this. Uh, see what the hell is going on. 
with this, and then I'm going to go grab a meal, so. On with this story. <laughs> what are we, what are we, the devil. You say this devil, the Eclipse Warship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard. Just once, when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold, awful jangle. It scrapes your bones. It hollows your guts. A metal sound. But like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. I want him to imitate it. Let's hear your... Let's hear it. What did it sound like? Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today, they call Corruptors, but there are others, much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins of Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Ard and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. Helis. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Osram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. If only he died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest. But then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I tried, they would have killed my family. What a snitch. Yep. Time to judge you. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. She's I won't beg for my life. She's like Judge Dredd. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. Uh. All this time I tracked you down. I thought this decision would be simple. It's not. Your... Your role in events was coerced. Perhaps you're not an evil man, just a weak one. Definitely I doesn't am. lift. The only strength I ever found in this life was my family. Death is what you've earned. And yet... I know what I deserve, Aloy. You shouldn't hesitate. Oh, man. Yeah. 
It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Owen. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your debt. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. There's that thing moving. Okay. Could have used those mid fight. Mm -hmm. Well, is that it? that or something. There's a save. Should be one. There we go. Boom. Nailed it. Alright. That's enough for today. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow, tomorrow for our regular live streams, for those of you watching that, tune into those, so come back tomorrow at, uh, what, 4, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, and uh, we'll chat, so I'll see you all later.